Harbinger in this case ran from uh, February 2021 until October 2022. Those are the dates of the conspiracy that um, you will have heard in court and during the sentencing. And it focused on a group of uh, 20 plus individuals, um, the majority of which were living and operating out of the northwest. Uh, so Merseyside, mm. Liverpool, Widnes, Lancashire, uh, Cheshire, and then London and other parts, in, including Spain. In fact, Ibiza, they ran it partially from Ibiza in Spain for a period. So, And what was interesting about this group was their spread. So you had somebody in West Cornwall, mm. somebody in Torrington in North Devon, running the operation up there. People down in Exeter and Exmouth, Torbay, Dawlish, um, but interestingly not in Plymouth. Uh, but they covered pretty much everywhere else in the force with their terms of their scope and the harm they were causing. In one six month period, they sent out something like 20,000 messages to their to their their customers. And, and you've got to bear in mind that these 20 odd individuals, I'm talking about organizers, um, the people that are their victims, the people that are in some of these addresses that are being uh, cuckooed and uh, and made to work for them. We, they're not in this group. We safeguard those. We. We interview and in some cases rescue them. So during that period, we would have been rescuing people that we identified as being at risk from this group because they use violence, intimidation. It's an illegal drug market, right? So heroin and cocaine, and they'll be fighting for their share of the market. But Harbinger has ripped the heart out of this OCG. You speak to our residents in, in Devon and Corn in some of those areas, and they will talk to you about the antisocial behavior that it causes, the sheer misery around those families. Uh, in t over 20 years of policing, I've, I've yet to come across a heroin addict that doesn't want to come off heroin. Mm. It just, it's so damaging for them. And those are the people I talked about earlier that we try and rescue with partners. Um, and when we find people that are, are, are supplying it, we go after them with absolute no holds barred. This investigation cost a lot of money. Mm. It had some highly specialized resources into it. Don't take it socially. You're feeding the same group that are terrorizing some of our communities and are putting people through violence and sheer fear of violence and sometimes extreme violence down here as well and that's why we have to keep on top of it. We need you to tell us what you see because you're our eyes and ears and if we don't police with you then we won't get this sort of thing done. We, we, we can't do it. So we rely on the public to tell us and keep telling us even if you think we haven't heard, we have heard. It just takes us a little while and it's a million lines of data and it's really hard but, and they keep changing the tactics, but we don't give up.